does it really work? Look at that. Oh, my God. My name is Cassie Brittany here on YouTube where I film story time and lifestyle content and Cassie Cabrell on my Instagram where I post lifestyle content. My skin is super dry. It doesn't know what to do. It can't handle the cold weather out here. I was not made for this weather. So they sent me a product that was going to figure out. Herbivore Emerald. I know it's a little hard to tell right now, but my skin is dry. It gets these little dry patches. I do have some blemishes at the moment. These textured areas do get dry. Also under my eyes sometimes can get pretty dry. She needs moisture. Now, drum roll, please. For the product. I'm actually pretty impressed with this. It is glass, so I do love that it is glass and not plastic. It just feels really heavy and sturdy and just very sophisticated and it's giving me rich girl vibes and I want that for my skin. I want the best for my skin. I am going to wash off my makeup. I am gonna start getting ready for bed, do the rest of my skincare routine, and add this product to the end of my skincare routine. You know it's skincare time when your hair goes up in this top knot. <sighs> Why am I so nervous to open? Excited nervous, you know what I mean? Does anybody get this excited over your new skincare products or is it just me? I'm gonna dive into some of the key ingredients and what's going on in this product that makes it so bomb. That's kind of it is made for normal, dry, and combo skin. This is recommended for dryness, fine lines, dullness, and uneven texture. Vegan, cruelty-free, and gluten-free. Perfect. This product is flash absorbing, high in moisture, lightweight glow oil, non-intoxicating hemp oil, olive-derived squalene. Love squalene. Love that ingredient. Been seeing it a lot lately. Really intrigued by that. More details on CBD and hemp oil, which is really interesting. Does it really work? Let's open it. Let's smell the scents. Let's feel the textures and let's get it on my skin. You can kind of see the tinge of the green, which is so crazy. I don't know why I think that's crazy. It's clearly green, but I just expected it not to be green. Oh no, you can definitely smell it. Mm, how would I describe it? The scent is very herbal very earthy but it's not too too fragrant so it's definitely i don't know if you guys can see that light tinge of green i am definitely looking very moisturized very shiny the scent is okay i'm more of a no fragrance person but it is really light so it's not the end of the world by all means here's the product it's on the skin i think the really big tell of seeing what it really does will be in the morning when i wake up and i see what my skin looks like i think that's when we'll really know i just finished washing my face putting on moisturizer and as i was looking at my face i noticed i have this heater under my skin and a little pimple right here do I know if it's related? I'm not sure. I did eat really badly yesterday and maybe the day before that. So we're just gonna keep going and see how it goes. I don't know. I just don't think it's for me. Maybe that's what it is. I really just wanna be nice. I don't wanna be <laughs> rude, but like, I don't know. It's the end. We're coming to the end of week one. And I'm not in love with the product. I really wanted to be. Like, you saw that packaging. It was, like, cute. It was minimalistic. Kind of had that, like, heavyweight, I'm rich vibe. The pretty green color. I'm like, I want it to be, like, Bella Hadid when I wake up in the morning. I'm sorry. Does this look like Bella Hadid to you? Ew, I just spat everywhere. Does this look like Bella Hadid? Okay, obviously I'm not gonna look like Bella Hadid, but does this look like Bella Hadid's skin? I don't know, but you know what I mean? Like I just expected more. I mean, yeah, I don't know. We still have one more week. Guys, I don't really think my mind is going to be changed within this next week. Maybe I'm wrong, but we're gonna see. No.
This is my skin. To be honest, I applied so much moisturizer today because my skin has been weirdly dry, which I don't understand because I've been using this oil. But specifically, where I've been noticing the dryness the most, which is like so weird because this doesn't happen to me too often, but I guess because of the scarring, it kind of looks okay right now, I guess. But the some of the scarring spots, it was getting that like when it would get that dryness in like a circle or like the outside of the scar is like a big flake. And that hasn't happened to me in a really long time. It only feels nice when it's on and it's not like long term. My skin has not been super hydrated. What? Like my skin has been looking dry. Not to mention, I woke up this morning with a pimple on my face. <sighs> it's not doing anything long term. In the moment, it makes you feel like a glazed donut because you're rubbing oil on your face. But long term, my face almost seems drier. I don't know. There's not much I can say. After two weeks of using Herbivore's oil, I have come to my final conclusion about what I think about the oil and what it has done for my skin. Quick disclaimer, okay, obviously scars, everything, you see that. But I just did a face mask because my skin has been acting up as you know. So I've been trying to combat that, but it seems like I just made it worse. It's definitely not in the most best condition I've seen it in. So, to my final thoughts. My final thoughts are, although the packaging is stunning, although the color is intriguing and mystical and whimsical and seems like it's gonna just change your life, it's gonna be that game changer product. I am gonna stick with what I've been saying through the past couple weeks which is i do not think that this product is for me at all <laughs> i mean just for the price point alone i just don't think it's worth it i think there's a lot of other cheaper hydrators out there and i just feel like it's clogged up my pores and it's just made me so like acne prone more acne prone than what i have been used to lately like i've definitely gone through a period in my life where my skin was like acne infested <laughs> and very prone to being clogged and irritated and for some reason it just seems like it's kind of kicked in again and restarted that fun little process for me definitely not as bad and i'm not someone who usually likes to put on a lot of makeup and i've been noticing i've been compensating for what's been going on on my face um like i said i just think for the price point and what the product is doing um i don't think this is a repurchase for me again this product doesn't work for my skin my skin was like mm -mm, no thank you i'm not feeling it but maybe this product might work for you. It's fine to definitely give everything a try for yourself, maybe one time, but if your skin is anything like my skin, a little sensitive, a little acne prone sometimes, and not like deathly, deathly dry, maybe pass. I hope this video helped someone out there, even just a little bit. It's been a pleasure. I'm glad that I got to try this product for you and destroy my skin instead of you trying it for yourself. I hope that you took away a little something from this but like i said always try something for yourself you never really know how it's going to react with your own skin but if you have similar to skin to mine you're welcome i made your job a little bit easier um happy skincare shopping and thanks so much for watching this video see you guys